proceed with the next session uh, i will introduce the next speaker uh, known to everyone uh, for the past 2 3 days uh, he is with us and conducting uh, the coordinating this international webinar in a successful manner and he is a per person uh, with enthusiasm and zeal to work i am really uh, amazed to see his activities because right from the day of uh, lockdown that is uh, we can say this is march 23rd i think he started around march 22nd 28th or something i'm not very sure but even i can say from april 1st onwards still now today he is conducting um, three sessions daily so more than 90 topics have been covered in the field of psychology and daily morning 11 o'clock and evening 5 o'clock and 6:30 so three sessions were been conducted by him from april 1st to till today so i am so happy and i am amazed to uh, note this uh, work how could it be possible for conducting more than 90 sessions uh, uh, 90 topics related to psychology which is a need of an hour that too and with the international and national level speakers so i am really astonished by his way of uh, approach in the academic aspect and he also uh, extending support in our department as a guest faculty and he is motivating all of my students in a right way in the field of psychology so a man who is having a knowledge and thirst and uh, dedicated to this field of psychology and having a zeal and motivation to work and it is transformed to all the participants whoever participated in his session so i am so happy to introduce dr kumar uh, sorry suresh kumar murugeshan from uh, department of psychology american college for being as a speaker today and uh, going to lecture in a more effective manner so that all the participants will be uh, getting uh, informations and uh, uh, getting enthusiasm to work in this academic field so I, with this few words i extend uh, my heartfelt welcome to dr suresh kumar to present his session and uh, make all the participants to have an eye opener in the field of special education and psychology thank you sir and welcome thank you ma'am actually now i am <laughs> really anxious to speak uh, in beginning in the uh, first half of the session taken by balabaskar sir it is an uh, the topic is uh, close to my heart mindfulness and life skills and then after that i have to talk about uh, some basics about covid 19 and its impact on uh, psychosocial components and how we can prevent ourselves from um, the psychosocial impact so this is my area i'm going to present today Uh, i record my sincere thanks to uh, ma'am sujatha malini ma'am who is the principal head of the department of special education and psychology for giving the great opportunity as a speaker for this program because uh, uh, many they think that they looking for only that uh, head of the department level when uh, she found that uh, i'm very close to ma'am also she observed my few of my sessions and she agreed okay ma'am put my session as the first one so i, I myself uh, uh, given this chance to other speakers and i'm in the third day Uh, i hope uh, my session will be some extent fruitful to you uh, this session i taken based on my experiences and my search about knowledge about what is corona virus how it impact on human being that is uh, i collected few sources some reliable sources underline reliable sources the reason is in the internet when you click about what is the psychosocial impact of uh, uh, corona virus there are number of uh, websites are giving more and more information but reliable information i think you have to take care of it they given the guidelines for example who world health organization and unicef and government of india health ministry and women and child development these are the sources for me and uh, one more institution me uh, nigmed nigmed also given the guideline it is there in the website how we can cope up with that psychological problem during this covid 19 they released uh, immediately after 15 days this is a handbook for me for my session and one more uh, a nodal agency for mental health the nimans national institute of mental health it is there in bangalore they also published some of the books so these were the sources i collected and then i'm going to share my experience with you all so give me a minute to share my slides to you all <coughs> yes 
coronavirus, COVID-19. So I'm going to give some a few slides about what is COVID-19. I think many of you may thoroughly know about it, but I would like to give some uh, scientific paper uh, component for you. Here, uh, I can see that it was um, um, uh, widespread and that all over the world. It's not an epidemic, it is a pandemic. Okay. So WHO was announced it's a pandemic in the month of March. And most of the countries around the world, they given the lockdown, uh, social distancing, and then uh, preventive measures, they have many suggestions. And when you look at this picture, when you look at this picture, even there are many developed countries, they are having the very good health facilities also, most affected. And there are um, countries like uh, India and uh, some of the countries around the world, they are still uh, struggling a lot to come out from the problem. And there are different phases, we given the lockdown and then lockdown helps us some extent to curtail this uh, spread of this uh, virus. Now we can see here, uh, where he, here is on the different virus in the world. I think we have to know the difference between what is virus and what is bacteria. Virus, I think when, when it is outside, it does not know life at all. When you get into in your life, in your cell, in your body, then only it will get a life. So you can't be able to kill that virus. If you want to kill the virus, you have to kill your cells. So that is the reason we are not able to have any successful medicine. So no virus has a medicine for that. Only thing that uh, your antibodies and antibiotics. See, our white blood cells are then uh, fight with these viruses and then it will uh, uh, make us safe from that virus. That's the only way we can protect ourselves. And you can take uh, some of the uh, famous viruses that uh, happened uh, different uh, timeline. Um, I think recently we now we are uh, COVID-19 and see the spread, the identification and spread is very huge. And uh, uh, very uh, the impact of uh, uh, this virus is very huge than any other uh, things. And SARS and MERS, these are the same uh, virus uh, group, family, and it is affecting our uh, respiratory system. The main impact of these three viruses, COVID-19, SARS, and then MERS. These three viruses affect our respiratory system and it will make us uh, uh, difficult for to breathe and then uh, lack of oxygen intake, we will die. And the other viruses are we know that uh, polio, smallpox, measles, chicken box, we are having the vaccines. Now we can say that we are very proud to say that uh, we can, we, we, have, we eradicated these viruses because of the virus, uh, uh, vaccines available now. And uh, recently there are a few more viruses which is very booming. One is called Zika virus. It is an Amazon forest they found. And in Brazil it was very common and some of the countries were in the, uh, the, um, spread over around the uh, country. And you can see the Ebola. Ebola in African countries, it is a quick spread and uh, I think they found a vaccine after uh, six and a half months. Now they are using, they prevented also. And the influenza, it is a common cold. It is an, uh, happened in 1957, I think, uh, in uh, French. There are uh, one third of population that uh, um, uh, disappeared from the world market because of this influenza. There, there were no vaccines in the area. So these are about facts about um, different viruses and its impact on that. And you can see here, and the COVID-19 impact in different countries. So here is a picture, you can able to know that uh, and, uh, United Kingdom, how it is a potential uh, 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 death rate also. Very, very high in number. And the USA, it is, um, they are having very good facility, health facilities and all the facilities. And then when you read the newspaper, they are causing more than 1 lakh death. And they are going to nearly 1, 1 lakh and 10,000 deaths were recorded. Still, it is counting, and then more cases were also admitted recent days. So these are the curfew recently happening in USA. And think about that developing countries and then underdeveloped countries. The facilities available in those countries are very limited, and it is an, uh, uh, definitely it is a huge threat for human beings. We have to take care of ourselves. Even they are saying that you can go around the uh, um, street and then you can be preventing. No, be safe right now. Don't take others' uh, words. Take the reliable sources and then be safe. And then safety methods are very, very important. You have to take. And here you can see the spike of these uh, uh, response. And uh, some of the countries they can able to manage. For example, South Korea. They at the beginning, uh, how they invented uh, the, the beginning. Uh, they given the increase the testing kits. Uh, it shows that the countries which has a more testing kit in the beginning, they have the control over the virus. So there is a, a chart you can find out. And you can see that those were missed in the beginning and the death rate where the booming of uh, coronavirus is very increased. Because, they may not, because you, you can able to know you have the virus only after 14 days. 
asymptomatic they will say that you will be very normal quite normal and you may feel that you are not having affected with the virus but you may have virus so it will not show any symptoms at all in the up to 14 days that is a, a one statement and here you can see that uh, spread of virus the higher healthcare uh, capacity uh, states higher uh, all the facilities they are having for example developed countries and european countries they are having very good facility and even the death rates are high in those field also and uh, i can say that some of the countries uh, under developing countries and they are having not having the adequate facilities but the spread is very low i we can say that we have to thank the god for that um, um, it is an um, the preventive measures that uh, social uh, awareness about uh, covid 19 which makes them the spread of virus is very low in these areas and we'll go to the next one and you can see that uh, as i said in the beginning whoever uh, having that uh, uh, early identification early identification that prevent that spread of virus very quickly and you can see the uh, testing is the same one it is done repeated over uh, uh, having the more test it is done controlling the peak will go up and then down if you are not predicting the beginning not able to find out who is on covid uh, patient it is very difficult to control the peak the peak of the curve normal probability curve and again you can see that the phase one stage one here is on stage one that uh, dark blue the light blue is on uh, stage two stage three stage four the preparedness of uh, different countries for uh, different stages are varies from countries to country even in uh, I, i can take example india in india we are having that uh, uh, very good uh, preventive measures in the earlier days the lockdown one you can see that no one was allowed that uh, population among the people is very high and uh, there are many uh, even economics uh, were suggested that we have to lenient in allowing the uh, people to work but the government was very uh, particular about they have to make the people uh, alive by preventing that uh, spread of virus so that is a high system uh, and readiness for the virus spread is on stage 1 and stage 2 you can see that uh, high system readiness and then medium virus spread and medium system and readiness low virus spread so these uh, second stage you can see when you are able to prevent when you able to identify the virus in the beginning we can able to control if we isolate the person who is affected with virus we can prevent the spread of virus very quickly This, that is the point I like to say here. Even uh, the even um, every one of us in the society, I can say that even after 60 days, we were aware about how we can prevent ourselves. I can say that one of the positive impact of COVID-19 is which made everyone is on more alert and preventive, more uh, uh, secured in that uh, place. And even they know that uh, they are not uh, uh, giving the hands to others, and they are using the cultural way of treating others. So these were preventive measures. most of the people it reaches and they may practicing it day to day life also and uh, i think i given some of the facts about covid 19 i think these things you may know about now i am going to talk about mental health and the impact of uh, health and mental health and how covid 19 impacted on both component my uh, component is about mental health component only here what is health i think uh, when you when we ask a person what is health everyone say that a person who is free from the disease which they may call as an health but what the who is saying who is a nodal agency for health uh, world health organization they said that health is a state of complete physical mental and social well being physical my body mental and social in the society surrounding people must be wealthy then only i can be say that i can claim that i am a healthy person so uh, not a uh, merely absence of a disease is not a healthy and here what is mental health mental health is an four important component you have to the cognitive well being you can have the clarity in your thought you can able to solve the problem what you are facing in day to day life you can able to make the decision thoroughly that that is one of the important component of uh, mental health and another one is emotions and one of the uh, participant uh, previous session they asked how i can manage the person who is on how coach in a particular situation it is an emotional management emotional intelligence very low among the individuals due to that they are not able to manage their emotions and so who we can claim that the, they are better in mental health the person who can able to understand that different emotions and positive or negative emotions and they can exhibit these emotions appropriately and appropriate places that is very important and behavior behavior is an etiquette for example we are in the social forum uh, how we have to behave or how we have to be react in that social setting that is an important component here and uh, some of the behavior may be accepted by the society some of the behavior may not be accepted and here we can say that a person who is in met better mental health they will exhibit appropriate behavior in a different places that is very important and the social well being yes 
It's very thing. We are human beings are social animals. If I am okay, then others, other members in my family will be okay. So I'm not happy that all the members in my family, they may feel worried, they may anxious, they get a fear about my health. So the so social well-being is another important component. These are the four important components that determines our mental health. If there is any component that disturbs, then we can say that there is a problem in our mental health. Immediately we have to address that mental health problem. And here a psychosocial health, it is another extended version of mental health. That includes the two other important components. One is spiritual well-being. It is not a religious one, spiritual. The peace, calmness in your mind, in your thought, in your process, in your thinking. That is a spiritual uh, component and you can see that relating to others, the, the positive relationship with others, better relationship with others, altruism, gratitude, these components should be there. So these things we have seen earlier. So now I'm going to uh, give some of the inputs about the impact of COVID-19 on psychosocial components. And here you can see that uh, uh, healthcare system availability around the world. So in India, we are having very less and South Korea has a better uh, facility in healthcare uh, system. And you can see that uh, after this coronavirus, the, uh, I think um, online merchants like Amazon, Flipkart, um, there are many uh, online uh, merchants, their sales of uh, uh, technology, for example, television, video games, smartphones is comes down. Then there is minus, there, there is no sales of these products. So that, that is another thing. And here you can see that the impact of uh, COVID-19 on GDP. GDP is on growth is very decreased. And then you can, I can say that it's a negative. There are many countries where are struggling a lot. And it, this effect will be there another six to eight months. It is about the economic components. And you can see that uh, um, there are a few studies were saying that in East Asia, and Pacific and South Asia, these two countries will be more affected, most affected countries. And there are more people, um, they will uh, fall into that category of poverty. So we have to be, uh, these studies are alarming that we have to be very careful about this impact of COVID-19 about uh, economic status is very alarming. The government should take uh, appropriate uh, strategies and we have to, uh, as a mental health uh, persons, uh, professionals, as a teachers, teacher educators, we have to uh, prepare the people uh, to face these crises in that life. In that life, and another one is it is about India. In Indian uh, state, you can see that the most affected uh, state in uh, India is on uh, Maharashtra, and next followed by Uttar Pradesh. Now it is on Tamil Nadu is on uh, third and fourth places. It is about Indian uh, statistics, and it is an increasing uh, day by day. And uh, when you take about um, Chennai city alone, the number of cases recorded uh, a month back is on one or two. But now, in a single day, you can find out 1,500 to 2,000 cases were recorded. New cases of COVID-19. And the death rate also increasing. There are one of my uh, friend, uh, he's a doctor. He is working in that uh, clinic. Uh, he, when I was contacted him, he told me that I think many people are uh, having um, less um, uh, fear about these things, but they have to fear a lot. They have to be more, they have to take appropriate measures to prevent the spread of virus. Otherwise, it is, the harm will be very more very high and you can see that uh, uh, the impact of global education see uh, the, the countries are uh, they are transforming into face-to-face uh, -to, -face to online mode and in the beginning it may be many people they can able to cope but at one point of time they many of them fed up they are not able to cope up with that online classes also uh, as madam told in the beginning uh, i am conducting webinar for, for 100 days 100 webinars i'm doing I can see that uh, the uh, involvement and the passion among the learners to learn in that online mode is decreased. And the countries, uh, there are many institutions that are closed and the impact about mental health is very high. And many parents are still complaining and asking them, the parents, to uh, reopen the schools also. And you can see that uh, um, health, about health, the impact of COVID-19, 64% of people say that they are fearful about their own health. 64% the study conducted on that. And 82% they said that they are fearful for the health of others. See, their health they are only fearful, only 64 Because 82% fear about others health because if they get sick, they may also affect it. That is the reason they are bothering about others' health right now. It is one of the positive impacts. Now, the COVID uh, make everyone to think about uh, all others be healthier. And... <laughs> Uh, regarding that economy, 64%. Go on and take the class. 
they are worried about the impact of personal job security. Yes, there are many people that are going to face this problem. There will be a job cut and there are leading newspapers in India. They are sending some of the personnel in their companies. And there are MNC companies. Yes, they said that 50 personally they are going to keep and remaining 50 personally they have to work from the phone. So these problems are there and then definitely it will be a spread for the family members. Think about if it is on the fam on the one of the family members on earning and if he lost the job, how he will take care of the family for another month. It's very difficult. In alarming also we have to take care of those components. And yes, 88% of them they're worried about the economy. Because if the economy is good, then only they can be able to get a job, proper job, they can get the money, their money will be there in the hand. It will lead them to a better life in their day to day life, day to day. And here, yes. We have seen that health concerns are others, health concerns are increased rather than the self health concern. And, and you can see here the future income the reduction will be there, and over workload will be there, loss of job will be there, some of the uh, effect on that work and uh, job components. And here you can see that GDP growth in this year alone, this growth rate will be in Asian countries will be very less at, at least three percent. Um, the growth will be very less in the different countries. Now, see, as of now, we have seen that negative impact of COVID-19. Now, I'm going to show that positive impact of COVID-19 for us. Definitely, there is a negative impact. Definitely, some of the positive will be there. Here, some of the, there is an ever-increasing focus on health. Earlier, there are many people, they may not concern about their health. Now, they are thinking, they are giving um, a priority to their health concerns. They are taking the preventive measures. And you can see that uh, uh, growing love for local people. And uh, earlier they may not uh, bother about others and that society members. Now they are taking care of them. Please take care of yourself. Don't go there and uh, roam there and then um, invent, invite that uh, virus in your body. So this uh, love is very spread among the community members. We can see. And uh, there is a uh, rise in the consciousness of consumption. Yes, there are many people. They are... Uh, um, uh, uh, excessive food item they are using and they are, they are spending um, excessive food item, they are wasting it. But now this coronavirus made them to think twice to use appropriate food items. That is a positive impact on the, uh, people's consciousness. And here you can see that waste of food, different items. And the shopping is reduced, the uh, shopping is reduced. And uh, uh, buying unwanted thing is uh, the components are reduced in this COVID-19. These are the positive impact of COVID-19. And you see the social impact. 80% of uh, consumers feel more and connected with other communities like this. And for example, if I'm having some content uh, excessive and they will, uh, yearly they won't uh, come forward and ask the neighbors, do you want these things? But now they are asking them, I'm having excessive, do you want these things? If you have any excessive, please let me know, I will buy. So these concerns is there and it is an impact of social uh, society. And 46% of people who never work from home See, now there are many people, they are uh, uh, trained uh, themselves, they would like to work from their home. It is an, another positive impact of COVID-19. Uh, earlier, they never worked from home. Now, they are uh, around 46 person, they prefer to work from home. And uh, one of the person is me also, if you have to include me, I'm also willing to work from home also. And uh, yes, everyone is speaking about the environment. Yes, most of the factories were uh, shut down and they, it is a very good for the forest. Yes. And the uh, uh, carbon uh, emission of uh, uh, carbon dioxide is very reduced. Uh, emission, uh, emission of carbon dioxide is very, uh, I think many meetings were conducted. Most of the countries were not accepted that uh, rules and regulations given by the authorities. But now the corona made every country to shut down all the industries and then all the vehicles. It made that pollution free environment. And I think you can get a, uh, most of the free uh, um, air you can in around in your home itself. So there's an, another thing. And the habit, the oil of habit also improved. There is an increase in that number also. And the energy conservation is reduced. Yet, yet the uh, most energies were used in that, um, for example, uh, different uh, unwanted things. I can say that um, uh, five star hotels. Even one person staying there, if it is an under room, under room light will be there. All the ACs will be there. But now it is contained and then energy consumption is reduced. And here you can see that uh, consumer behavior, as I said in the beginning, they are buying only uh, whatever the thing want. The, 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 there is a change in their consciousness. They are uh, uh, deciding before going to the market, whatever the thing they want, they are deciding it. The beginning itself, that is an another positive impact. And it is about European country, there is a uh, gold generation. I think the natural resources, 
consumption of natural resources is pumped down and emission of carbon dioxide is reduced and the renewable energies are increased the, the renewable energy are increased and the energy demand also comes down these were the positive impact it is an europe only it is applicable to all the countries also uh, in analog uh, manner it is an, uh, again here uh, just i'm going to give you that psychosocial impact of covid 19 i given the clarity about i hope you can understand that positive impact of covid 19 in what way this COVID-19 will impact our uh, psychosocial compounds? Here you can see the picture, you can be able to understand. See, so countries which were not having the facility of uh, health facilities, now the PPE, the uh, pre public preventive uh, um, um, materials. So these materials production is increased. And uh, in India, which were exported, in the, uh, our uh, Prime Minister uh, insisted that we should not export, they have to keep those materials for a here healthcare purposes. There are now we are getting these facilities, and I can say that there are many countries that are uh, not having these facilities in their country. Regarding that cognizant, yes, see when this threat was announced, when I was watching the TV in the beginning three to four days, I thought that I'm confused whether I will be alive or not. See. These kind of fear is induced by the different media and when I take the WhatsApp messages and social media messages, they are threatening me and they are saying that one of the family near was member in that street, they died because of COVID-19. He may be dying for another reason. The false fake news is very spread among the, it is booming and it made me uh, having the confusion in my thought. I'm not able to take the right decision whether I can go to market or not. So these kind of decisions, I confuse. And there is no clarity in my decision making. I'm not able to make a proper uh, uh, problem solving uh, strategies for my life. So these were the impact of uh, my cognition. Regarding my emotions, see here the person who is working in the clinical setting. And uh, there are many incidences I can quote here, which was reported in the news channels also. The doctors who were staying in that apartment were not allowed inside the, their houses. The, the, the neighbors were pushed them there. They never allowed them. They thrown the stone also. Go away. If you come here, we will uh, be affected by this kind of uh, thing about the family members. And the person and the other family members are there, the person who is uh, working with COVID patients. And uh, there are many of them, they are not going to their home. They are fear about the family members. See, in fact, the helper performs more than anybody else. And, and I can say there are only incidences that one year old baby and the mother, mother got an infection of COVID 19. And think about that, uh, that, that separation of these two, uh, father, mother and then child. Then now how the mother will suffer, how the, think about that impact of these the separation, how it will impact in future of the children's mental health. There are many, many incidents I can quote. And that um, uh, uncertainty of uh, people, it's definitely a different component. And behavior, see the children's where, I can give one example, I given the children's here, it has affected most of the elderly also. I give one example, one elderly example. One of my friend is an retired professor and he used to walk for three to four kilometers per day. But this lockdown period, he is not able to walk. We made him depressed. He made a call to me and then I'm not able to move from home and then I'm, I think it will kill me. This is a word I hear from him. Think about the children. Children where they never know about the impact of virus and always playing here and there and this virus made them to sit in a home and the parents are uh, see without monitoring the children have the freedom when all the members were in the family they are not having the freedom at all they, they are not having any freedom and if they do anything they will complain immediately they will we, we as a parent most of the parents have the mindset that we have to control the children they thought that they have to work for us they have to accept your command it is not so it has a more impact on the behavior you can see some of the children are aggressive in nature when you don't allow them to play the games or when you don't allow them to go and meet their friends, they will be more outpost in nature. Yes. And you can see the social impact. Migrations. And even many people, they are not having the money. They think that, okay, we can go to our native place and then better we can, whatever the food available, we can survive from our home. These things were common among the society. See, even for 1,500 kilometers, they are cycling and they are walking by bare food and then reaching their uh, native place. See, huge impact on the society, on the mindset. And even uh, those who were uh, reached their native places were not allowed to get into their society. And they were put it in a, a quarantine places and they are suffering a lot in 
especially in uh, two states in India, one is in Odisha and another one is Bika. So most of the migrant laborers from these states only, and they are suffering a lot, a lot. And and these were the impact of uh, COVID-19 uh, about their uh, health, cognition, emotion, behavior, and social component. Now they are thinking about uh, others may have the uh, virus and they may spread. So they are not even the uh, function they are not able to attend. And here, um, um, so now I'm getting into that uh, uh, technical components. Impact of COVID-19 on emotional imbalance. Yes, predominantly you can see fear among all the people. Yes, I may get a COVID virus or not. And then anxiety among all the people. Yes, I may have the anxiety. This anxiety is good for us. It will uh, protect from that spread of virus. We may not uh, unnecessarily move here and there and then voluntarily take the virus. So the anxiety is needed. Denial. Even the people who were affected uh, close to them, they deny that, no, no, I will not get I mean, Some of the people may think that, uh, no, no, I, in my body, I have seen many things. I may, I'm a, a very fluent. This kind of word they will utter. But those people will be the first uh, prone to the virus attack. And depression, yes, it is a severe problem on an individual. And definitely, it will lead to depression. And one of the statements already given by WHO, the most depressed country in the world is in India. 80% of the people who once in a lifetime they are facing depression in their life. Now this COVID-19, COVID which made most of the people who, who can experience depression right now, they are experiencing it. And then the physical uh, components within that somatic complaints, even those who are not having that uh, uh, small cold uh, for a, net, a normal cold, they may assume that they may have the COVID. Psychochondriac, hypochondriac is a uh, thing. They may not have the problem, but they may assume that they have all the problem what the COVID-19 patients have. So they assume and then they will threaten other members also. And the insomnia. Yes, sleeping problem is there. When the lockdown period are announced and most of the time, even daytime they spend in a sleeping and night, they won't get sleep. And it will affect our biological rhythm. That um, um, biological clock will be affected. Circadian rhythm will not be functioning. And there is a high disturbance in your uh, sleep pattern and as well as your appetite also, your eating pattern also. Yes, I can say my I am one of the person. I have a problem with appetite. I'm not taking that earlier. I used to have at eight and then one and then eight. Now it is, and I can say that uh, I took my lunch, um, uh, uh, breakfast at 11.30, lunch at 3.30. So this, there is a change. It is, we can say, I can take one example. Think about most of the people, they can, they are experiencing it. Yes, the financial issues, there's a huge impact is there in the financial component, loss of job. The insecurity among the people who is working in the different job sectors. Especially those in the private sector, they are, they are, I think, um, they are uh, walking on the uh, night. It is very difficult for them. I think they may, not, they may cry inside. It is in the time you have to listen their voice. And the less pay, even they may be getting better salary earlier, but they may be now, they may, may not get the appropriate salaries. And in the negative attitude, yes, it is very, very common among the people, some of the people. And the refusal to seek help, even if they are affected, they may not come forward to seek the help from the officials. And the low adherence, the government given the rules and regulations, they may given that red zone, uh, green zone, and then yellow zone, and then you have to be, you are allowed to free to move in the green zone. But the red zone people are moving in green zone, and they are spreading the virus in the green zone. These things are happening, and I can say that the many people, I had a one experience when um, my wife was asked me to go and buy some uh, grocery from the nearby store. A yeah, person who is wearing a mask, you remove the mask and then sneeze. See, the, 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 all the awareness program were can, uh, frequently given in that new channel saying that when you sneeze, use your hand. Okay, but the person removing the mask and then sneeze. See, the, these kind of people are there, they are the culprit for spreading the virus. And you can that social rejection, yes, discrimination. Even if I have the throat infected, <coughs> I cough, and the more people in my family members and the neighbors, they said, Stay, stay away from me. Don't come close to me. So this discrimination is very common and they are rejecting us socially drive. And if they come to know that uh, one of the members in that uh, apartment had an affected COVID-19, they try to move and they will not allow anybody to interact with them. It is the time we have to support them. Okay. So these things are very uh, common problems. There's a huge impact of uh, COVID-19. And now I'm going to show that impact of COVID-19 on mental health. Okay. And here the pyramid, see the pyramid. The worry about self and then family members. First, I have to take care of myself and about my family members. And it will lead the distress, overload and then overwhelm. Yes, um, see, ruminess of that, unnecessary thing. I'm not able to make the correct decisions in my life. 
and the difficulty in the information there are a lot of information i'm gathering which one i have to process which one i have to rely on that and it leads to depression and anxiety in my life so these were the problem we can see and the reason for distress yes as he said in the beginning inadequate skill life skills he said mindfulness is the skill we have to develop in important skills like uh, life skills communication interpersonal problem these three are life skills see when in the person who is not having these skills definitely they will be uh, having the problem and it will lead them distress and who were in the inadequate resources also lead to distress what are they basic needs they are not able to meet the basic needs yes definitely it will lead them to distress and the, there is no support from the family members and uh, uh, access to the health system if they are not having the proper access to the health system definitely it will lead to stress uh, so inadequate coping mechanism also lead to stress and then um, faulty coping this is the time they may use smoking and drinking it is an um, they may go for another uh, um, uh, coping mechanism which is negative negative coping mechanism so we should be very vigilant to inform the person they have to go for select only positive coping mechanism so and being dependent on others we have that most of the poor uh, uh, socio economic status people are depending on the government they expecting something from the government they may help them so these are the stress how we can realize that the person may have the mental health problem you can see the four important component one is if you are not able to realize your potential one second one is you are not able to cope the stress in your day to day life and if you are not productive as earlier when you are productive and you are not able to make any contribution to society then you can assume that you, you, there is a problem in your mental health and here you can see some of the important components think you are thinking your emotions your physiology and behavior if there is any change in these four components we can assume that it will be uh, because of the poor mental health and you check your sleep your mood pattern your thinking style your perception and your social intellectual functioning communication and languages the these people this is time they may not use appropriate uh, communication they may not know that effective communication and the poor attention concentration problem in the cognitive function is very low and behavior problem is very predominant among the people so when you know these problems among the individual you can assume that the problem the person has the mental health problem see these things definitely i can say that one of the members in your family may having right now that means that is the thing unicef unesco that uh, who and most of the apa different uh, international organizations are saying that this covid 19 lock after this lockdown the, the first outburst will be the mental health outburst most of the people are having the problem of mental health so we have to address this immediately to prevents prevention is better than cure after the severity of mental illness then when you go for rehabilitation it is very difficult in the beginning we have to take the uh, preventive measures i am going to give some of them and here uh, see uh, physical see i'm going to rush through that symptoms in the physical component when you see these things there are 25 uh, symptoms will be there if you have uh, more than 12 symptoms you can claim you can assume that definitely are having the problem in your mental health okay so uh, here is your change in your thinking pattern everything negatively they are speaking about themselves blaming themselves for uh, things beyond their control okay struggle in concentration negative thoughts change in their performance and the feeling see unhappy worry guilt fearful irritable sad angry helplessness hopelessness they are feeling lonely or rejected so these were the feeling components if you uh, find these things and you can claim that yes definitely there is a problem in your mental health you know behavior components yes see i given that around 30 symptoms if you have more than 50 percentage and you are more prone to mental health problem immediately you have to seek help for your mental health problem and there are two uh, um, number i can give you one is on 104 helpline in every state in your local languages you can get a help for your mental health problem one thing second one is in um, um, the ministry of health affairs they given that toll free number you can contact that toll free number 24 into 7 they are helping and there are many private uh, organizations also providing services to them and why it is important that we have to keep better mental health see um, um, to lead our day to day life better one thing and to improve our physical health see um, in a coin you can see only one side one side is on physical health the mental health is on other side if, if you may not see the other side of the coin it doesn't mean that it is in, not important if both the things are uh, uh, very important for the person holistically well in that component 
and enhanced productivity it is very common if the person is better mental health they are very productive and they will more useful to the other members they will give a clear clear decision they will give a clear inputs to the other members if they seek help for them and increase the stability in their cognition uh, emotions and behavior they will not show that unwanted emotions in the family members they will not show anger so these things will be very important we have to ensure that mental health also increases and <clears throat> some of the uh, if you are not able to meet the better mental health what will happen so uh, they will go for drinking and smoking if it is on male members poor involvement in any activity other risk taking behavior will be there okay we will see we will we'll go and get the virus what will happen so these kind of risk taking behavior is common among the people and what are the barriers very important you have to talk about it lack of awareness about mental health there are many people i can say that the studies are saying that around 70 to 80 percentage of people they are not aware about they have a mental health problem see if i know i have the problem then only i can able to seek a help here i can say that there are many people they say that it is a normal even the mental health symptom they feel that it is a normal one you have to take care of it no it is not a thing they have to seek a professional help and lack of resources yes financial thing they may think that if you go and meet a counselor how much they have to pay money and human resources the trained professionals are very less in number i can say that uh, uh, definitely that uh, uh, mental health problems in india is very very less very very less there are more uh, people who need a right now and the facilities for uh, mental health uh, uh, proper mental health facilities very low in india and most of the developing countries also we have to address this thing and stigma among the people many people they are not coming forward to seek help for their psychological problem like because they may think that they uh, surrounding people they may branding them they are uh, psycho so this stigma still it is continuing we have to address those things and other barriers also there we will discuss so uh, i as i said prevention is better than cure so we have to see the how what we can prevent i think you all know that uh, washing your hands and then avoiding touching other covering your mouth and then stay at your home and uh, here you can see that some of the medical professionals i will go uh, skip these things i'll go to the main component yes here here um how much time i am having okay i will take another 10 minutes i will uh, take the important component uh, feeling lonely both due to physical distancing yes i think uh, many of us we may know that yes we may experiencing it missing friends and loved ones what are the problem we are facing now how we can address these things we will see in the next slide and a uh, constant area playing yes those are in that uh, uh, 200 uh, square feet there are some of the family members they are uh, staying in less than 1000 square feet a house they were not allowed to move around the freely so these were the concerns for the children and lack of personal space for privacy very important earlier we had a privacy but everybody in the on the home and we are not having the privacy we are not able to uh, share our feeling to anybody else because the, the problem may be from the family members but they may expect that they have to share the problem to them because they are the cause how we can share it to them and if it is on a privacy means if it is on a early time and the person will work for 8 hours they may go away from the home and they have the privacy they can share that feeling to somebody else we can say that is a pre association or is called catharsis in psychology it is a technique when you share your feeling to somebody else you feel more relaxed so these facilities not available right now and peer up the students yes there are many students at the sslc examination public examination students are peer about when they are going to face the examination and every day the parents are forcing them to read and read see the lockdown were announced seven 70 days back and they still they are studying for their examination if they were conducted early they may be a uh, better mental health but now it is they are struggling a lot and uh, distress the news yes there are many news we are uh, getting in our uh, social media and whatsapp 80 to 90 percent are fake and i will give you some of the uh, hint you can find out the fake news if you are a true indian if you are a true tamilian you have to share then that is a 99.99 percent fake news okay <laughs> so we can able to find out such a, a word and help if you share these messages you will uh, the uh, person affected will get one paise from that how he they will get if you share a message you have use your logic if you share a message to somebody else how they will know that how they will get one paise for that uh, clinical purpose we have to use these kind of nonsense will be there in that uh, social media we have to be very careful and it is uh, i think most of the time we are uh, people in that form they are spending mobiles only and laptop only it leads a distress among the people and worried about the loved ones yes very common and uh, afraid of catching infection these were the um, current situation we are facing now what is the remedy 
I will tell you. Even after the uh, um, this uh, lockdown, even if you continue that, there is no work for you for another 30 days or 50 days. If you think that 15 days, what you have to do? You have to keep your routines. Don't ch change your routines. Habit formation will happen 21 days. If you change your habit for continuously for particular thing for 21 days, that the psychologists are saying that your habit will form. Procrastination, okay. If you are not taking food at 8, and if you are taking 11.30, after lockdown, if you are, uh, uh, you have to go and work at 8 in the morning. But you will not get uh, hungry. You feel hungry at only 11.30, you will not get anything at all. So keep uh, practice, routine practices for students and the healthy practices. And those who are uh, in the family, they have to uh, make some uh, stretch, other activities they can do inside. And this is the time you have to make a call to your loved ones. See your family, friends and through social media, you can find out you feel some, somewhat comfortable with some people. Okay, I feel more comfortable. You can make a call to them and speak with them. This is the right time you have to make it. And don't make a call. The person who will make afraid of you. You know what happened, you know? See, you such a symptom which you told, the person died immediately after one hour. See, these kind of people will be very cautious. They are uh, <laughs> poisonous uh, friends will be there. If you receive the call, cut the call and then make a call to somebody who will give the positive words. And limiting distress, don't spend much time on the TV and other components. Once in a day, okay, morning or evening, one time you spend the TV and then watch that reliable channel and then, okay, okay, definitely we will have the thing positively. And in all in group activities and then family time, there are uh, um, online activities also you can do. Now, if you don't know how to exercise, if you are in India and you know that uh, superstar Rajinikanth, if, if we don't know how to exercise, we can watch his dance, okay, in a song, play the song of any Rajinikanth movie. That is an exercise we can see. Like, see, this is the easiest way you can practice and then simple way you can uh, do in your family members. And it will be more fun way also. And even if you feel more difficult, Rajinikanth exercise is more difficult, there is one more actor called Bakiraj. Even very simpler exercises, you can do stretch exercises, you can do in your home. You can play the songs in your home and do the exercises along with the song. It will be more fun for you and for your family also. And those are from other countries. The name is Superstar Rajnikanth, one person. Another one is Bakiraj. Just when you Google it, Bakiraj songs. And follow the steps. Properly you have to follow, then you feel more relaxed after the stretching exercise. And <clears throat> advising that youngsters, you have to spread the positivity. This is the right time. And even if you feel that you may have the problem, you may have the fear. But you have to say to them, you know, don't worry, nothing will happen. This is the way I have to put to the persons. So, as a person, try to give the positive words to surrounding people. And connect to that, there are many, as I said, there are demands number is here. You can make a call to the demands and then uh, a Ministry of Health and Affairs, they are given a number. You can contact those numbers and get a help from that. And, and here, uh, um, um, so some of the uh, strategies I hear, you can... Uh, uh, follow that. I think uh, here is a last slide for me. I'm going to stop here. What other thing you can I uh, given that is a uh, teacher. It is meant for all the peoples only. One is psychoeducation. What is psychoeducation? Psychoeducation is nothing but teaching about what is coronavirus, what is the impact, how we can prevent. Okay, that is on psychoeducation. Uh, many people think that they will give the psychology. They will what is psychology? What is behavior? No, psychoeducation means giving the clarity about that problem. Okay, and make you give the choices, what are the things you can take. So that is on psychoeducation. And care about your cognition, emotion, behavior problems. Yes, do meditation. In the, in the previous session, um, Bala Baskas are given that mindfulness. Think one thing at a time. For example, when you uh, eat food, you have to think only one, one component. There are many of you here in the attending, we may, we may be very uh, uh, mindful when you are taking food. And especially when your foot is very close to your heart, close to your mind, close to your tongue, and you are very involved in that. Likewise, if you do any other work, you show your mindfulness. For example, mindfulness breathing. Listen only what you are breathing and then close your eyes. When you do the mindfulness exercise, other and then relaxation techniques. Yes. What other things you can do? Listen music, melody music. Okay. And uh, <coughs> There are um, uh, mindfulness, guided imagery uh, techniques will be there. Three applications are there in your Android mobile phone. Download and then play that and then listen what they are saying and follow what they are doing. Close your eyes and then say that now you are in a peaceful mind. 
okay and you have to close and then you got to feel that you have to connect with that what they are saying and another one is um, uh, suppose if you are not having, uh, able to cope with the problem what you have to do you know somebody they will help you i can say one person raja his name is raja for any kind of question he will answer <laughs> even if he does you know he will uh, uh, direct me he can get a solution for your uh, problem there so that such a person will be there in, in your area definitely someone in your family that is a raja will be there all in all alag raja you can contact them they will guide you okay and another one is some uh, spend some quality time with your kids if the children are there definitely it is a need of our um, you can play with them and during that time you have to be play as a children not a parent as a adult one. very important physical exercises as i said i given two tips rajinikanth and paikaraj and stretching exercises you can do for the same person yoga simple yoga yoga is in uh, india is a base for uh, different countries still uh, many countries they are practicing it what you can other thing adopt growth mindset not only for uh, teaching in general population also you can take it growth mindset is very very important think positively optimism very important reconnect your purpose think about you may have the purpose i'm here i want to do these things i want to do something for the society and right now you can take it and then involve it focus kindness and gratitude is very important many people they may think that why oh, after the kindness if you are not kindness then you, you will get a cruel from somebody else if you are so this is the right time you have to show your kindness gratitude if you forget somebody to thank somebody make a list remember call them and then say them i am thanking for you because i got a help from you because of this very very important this is the right time you can make a gratitude jar gratitude wall gratitude letter gratitude journal you can write it and then uh, and uh, i think it is for teachers the staff is better good rela- uh, sleeping see 8 hours is an um, uh, sleeping hour need for hour if you sleep proper sleep you can get melatonin not melanin melanin is a pigment for my color it's not one melatonin will be secreted when you have a better sleep okay so you have to take better sleep and in a dark room you have to sleep don't use that night lamp if you use night lamp that secretion of uh, melatonin will be decreased and it will be you feel more tired you feel pain when you wake up from that bed reward yourself okay nothing will happen i'm i'm the better person in the world and develop your emotional resilience and better relationship we can connect there are, i can say that this lockdown period i'm having more than uh, uh, 1000 to uh, 10000 people uh, friends are known to me this lockdown period the connections will help you in future so thank you so much for listening to me i think i given uh, some um, impact of uh, uh, covid 19 and psychosocial component i given that positive negative impact and the current situation how we can uh, cope this situation with the psychological materials thank you so much for listening to me thank you thank you thank you so that was a wonderful session a lot of statistics from reliable sources as you rightly told uh, so thank you so much for actually putting in some positive things also during this uh, thing maybe most of them are actually missing it out so i actually took a course for one week period for uh, mental health and psychosocial uh, issues on covid 19 uh, i am telling you the one week course that i took it is a sum up sir whatever you told it's like it's like sum up okay uh, if i would say that so thank you. thank you so much for that and a lot of statistics which was really really helpful and uh, i think it is so a lot of information for all of us uh, which was rightly Uh, needed right now thank you so much for that and uh, now i think we should take yes. some questions uh, from the participants yes. and there are a lot of people already who are raise their hands so uh, yeah i would like to call upon uh, shiny pg uh, please unmute yourself and ask a question to dr suresh a uh, shiny ma'am are you there Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Ma'am. Please proceed, ma'am. I think we uh, can go to the next person. Yeah, sir. I think I should. Okay. Uh, next will be from uh, Bhuvanesh Kumar Balan. Please proceed with your question, sir. Please unmute yourself. Thank you. Yes, Bhuvanesh Kumar. I'm not hearing anything. Bhuvanesh, yeah, we are not able to hear you, sir. 
we'll go to the next so there is so there is a question in the chat box i'll just read out the question sir okay how can we create awareness and maintain positive classroom situation once classes started after lockdown yes um, positive schooling there is a model is available positive schooling has on five important it is not hello please mute yes yourself. yes yes there are five models the one is an uh, trust so when you uh, reopen the school we have to develop a trust among the children and then safety and security third one is building hope and resilience among the individual fifth one is we have to enable the individual to face the situation so this is the model we can download it is there for positive schooling model is there so this is an amazing one you can they can take it this one as a model they can practice they given the guidelines also how we can build a trust with the children so when you ensure that the safety measures are in the home then definitely there will be trust will be there the parents that is why the government is asking the parents whether we can reopen the school right now or not okay they are getting opinion from the parents because they want to build a trust with the parents then only they can able to smoothly conduct the education after so that the model will be more effective they can get it positive schooling model it is there that question was from jyoti durai i have i have a personal question sir yes, yes. actually today i got an information like uh, the schools are uh, connecting online classes from 8 to 3 from tomorrow there are few schools in chennai which is yes. going to conduct such classes from 8 to 3 o'clock what is your opinion about that, that? is an utter i was really failure. disturbed by after hearing that no, actually no, no, no. that is an utter failure decision i can say based on my experience see we can able to spend, for example as a adult as a adult we can able to spend at least two to, the screen time for adult is a 3 hours the studies are saying that we have the 3 hours screen time okay if it is more than 3 hours you cannot able to um, um, attend in the classroom i can give one example my person example my son is studying in one of the private school so they they started uh, classes two months back when the lockdown was announced from that day itself they started classes see uh, for Three days he was more attentive because he want curious to see his friends and the teachers. After three days he may be there for ten minutes. After that it is very difficult to ask me. I have to keep a stick in front back side up um, uh, to uh, uh, so don't show my what I'm having in my hand. So it, that way only I threaten to stay uh, stay in the uh, seat. It is very it, is, it will be a failure model definitely. We have to consult with psychologists. And there are many studies that prove that. when it will be effective when the screen time for an adult is an only 3 hours maximum 3 hours adult think about the children they are very tender mind they are allowed to spend for at least 1 hour only in a day 1 hour or 1 and a half hours if they continue 10 to 3 i think uh, within a week they we can see the result don't worry about it and uh, 50% they will not attend and the facility for attending these uh, classes are not available to meet and most of the family members for example in my family i am having one smartphone one laptop so my two children my wife is there four members we need how we can accommodate my wife has to teach she is a teacher so i am a teacher we need two gadgets over how they will uh, take other gadgets even for a, a well to do family so think about that uh, the socio economically poor families they are not affordable it is not feasible also they have to get a consent from the uh, at least some education some psychologists then only they can they have to implement but they can take it as a pilot uh, testing they can go for it and then they will uh, trial and error they will come back okay it will not work they will come back also the teachers work sir yes. how are we going to work yeah See, i will tell you many teachers they are very good teachers in the face to face classroom they may not speak a single sentence in front of the camera they feel uncomfortable to speak in front of the camera see i am the person more comfortable because my personality is this i train in that way so there are many teachers they are not comfortable they are it doesn't mean they are not good teachers there is an saying that if you don't have the technological skill right now as a teacher it's very difficult to be become a teacher and you cannot continue the teaching and the private institutions they are paying the money na during this lockdown period they are expecting something from the teacher they have to engage yes i can say that there are some of the incidences there are good management also there there are some management they never allow the teacher to sit in a 8 hours when they getting into the school they are getting into the school at 9:30 means up to 4 4:30 they are not allowed to sit so such a management also there think about it thank you for your input sir thank you so much very harmful for the teachers and the students you have to get opinion from the experts thank you sir yes
Thank you, sir, for that uh, answer, which is needed most right now. So next question will be from uh, Vaishnavi Shinde. Please go ahead with your question, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, actually, uh, I would like to first thank Mr. Suresh, sir, because he has put in a lot of uh, inputs and uh, it is very grateful to hear, sir. And uh, actually, I don't have a question, but I would like to add some points in the positive uh, COVID-19 stickers, which you said. Yes, you said right. like there are some uh, most uh, like there are positive points in the COVID-19. I feel that there is another positive thing which uh, you left out or I guess we all left out in the COVID-19 as nature. We started to admire nature because uh, people started uh, uh, getting up early and they start to see sunrises and we are standing and seeing the sunset also. So this is one another positive uh, impact on COVID-19, which I would like to uh, suggest. Yeah, that's a very valid point. So thank you so much for uh, knowing me. Definitely thank you, ma'am. Uh, next, uh, let us just have two more questions and uh, it's time to wind up. Okay, next question will be from uh, Karimunisa Sayed. Ki kindly uh, unmute yourself. Yeah, and please hear now. yeah good evening. Uh, Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening, all. So, uh, at the outset, I should uh, thank you that it is a very informative and well-planned uh, and a very useful lecture, sir. Uh, sir, just I wanted to know about your opinion that with regard to India, uh, but uh, because uh, many migrants, uh, they have gone to the villages now. Yes. Uh, so, which stage do you think that we are all in, in India, as <laughs> a big threat to... Uh, to realize where we stand. So, in which as stage as, we are? Yeah, as per the statistics, we are in the stage four, ma'am. Stage four. Stage four. Stage four. And then the migrant also vulnerable. Uh, I think mm. there is a possibility they may also spread virus. So, uh, what, are the, what should be in a nutshell? Uh, what could be the like preventive measures? How to yeah, help yeah. ourselves? Yeah, I think we have to identify, I have to ask them to quarantine. I can give one example in my family. So, my mother in law was. Uh, uh, there in Chennai for uh, two months. She came to Madurai recently. And she herself uh, quarantined in the house. In her room, she never come out from that. We know that um, she want to check her uh, regularly. Likewise, self-regulation is very, very important. Man. Those who feel that we may be prone to virus and they have to be cautious about, we have to be regular self-control. We should not spread to anybody else. That mindset is there. Definitely, it will not spread. But... We as a people you have to be very careful about even uh, they may not have the symptom. There are studies are saying that asymptomatic. The people will be very normal and they may also pass the virus. So we have to be very careful, social distancing and other preventive measures we have to uh, take it. And, these um, uh, and uh, on the top of that, they say that uh, it is no more pandemic, it is a uh, syndemic. Yeah. Uh, particularly if uh, they are had, if somebody is having other problems also. Yes. So it can play to your different uh, theories are coming, ma'am. Different theories mm -hmm. are coming, and there are. I can say that one of the uh, president from Science Forum he said that it is like a common flu, need not to worry about it. And another doctor I said he is saying that it is a real threat to human being. So there are two persons in the same science field uh, whom we have to uh, uh, listen, ma'am. Based on the, mm -hmm. we have to uh, experience that, and then we will come to know that. And I will give you one example in the USA. They are having very good facility and count the numbers in every day. There are many countries, they may give that, uh, the statistics, they may be reduced. They may not give that exact number of death due to COVID. Okay. So they are giving numbers, it costs more than one lakh. So definitely we have to be very cautious. This is the right time. And the booming is going on, four stages there. Now, yeah, in, in a day, there are, uh, uh, I think in uh, Chennai alone, we can say 1,200 members are uh, found positive, COVID positive. So you have to be very careful. And yes, migrant workers, they have to, there are some state government given the policy that there is a separate place for them to quarantine and then they are testing them. If they are normal, then only they are allowing to meet with the family members. That facilities are taken by some of the state government, like Kerala and Odisha. Thank From you. Them, yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you for explaining that. And now uh, let's take some questions from FB or YouTube. I request Dr. Sujata Malini, ma'am, to put forward the question to sir. Um, sir, sir, there are some questions from uh, YouTube uh, live okay, and uh, they are asking uh, uh, at home women are always advised to tolerate the situation 
and never to share what we feel to anyone around so in this situation what we can do ma'am ma the very important thing uh, one of the uh, most effective technique in psychotherapy in psychology is on um, uh, free to talk so talk therapy they will say that talk therapy means if you have the problem in your mind if you have the problem in your uh, uh, so, my child if you have to share your feeling to somebody else and in a family as i said some the, the cause for your mental health problem in your family members your life partner and they may expect you, you cannot share your feeling to them because they are the cause for that so what you get do one of the thing you can find somebody very close to you and make a call to them and then share your feelings so this is the easiest way we can do and uh, else if you have the faith in your god so you may be belong to any religion if you have the faith go and sit in a place close your eyes and share all the things what in your mind and then you can have share you have to vent out if when you vent out that is why we are having the windows we have more windows more vent out if you do in a day definitely you will free from problem that is the way they can take it in a family they have to spend at least thank you thank you minutes. yes okay sir the next yes. one uh, due to impact of covid 19 we lack the daily learning habits yes so because we which was maintained before and due to social withdrawal uh, how to build fear in academy how to overcome it ma'am it is a valid question ma'am and as a parent um, i had a, a research on that because i want to engage my ch children for academy so for that i have done a few researches i found that habit formation will be there when you do some particular work for continuously 21 days when you don't allow your children to uh, uh, read and write in a day this lockdown period definitely there is a problem in their habit formation so what if we can do as a parent you sit along with your children if they read the subject we can read the newspaper and then read or else take another subject of your children kids and then read along with them so this is the only way we can engage them in academically if they miss out these things this is the period you can go and sit and watch movies and then you miss these things and it is very difficult for them to make them to sit and read in future so that, that is the thing yeah. self regulation regular routine practice they have to make it now. okay sir okay the next one was uh, if one of our loved ones is in need of professional support they don't show it up but how to help with this stigma ma'am uh, there is an uh, one um, Uh, chapman is there he is an amazing person uh, he given the love language love language means uh, you have to be um, uh, listen what others are saying see uh, when we are having that uh, conflict between the uh, partners the relationship it is because we are not showing our active listening to them see what they will do if they were wife or husband asking uh, tell me see the, the attitude is totally different they know that he is not listening yeah. see If the active listening is important now, when you have a better relationship. Another one is quality time. Quality time means in the, you cannot say that I, in this lockdown period, all that the 60 days I'm with my partner doesn't mean it is a quality time. Quality time means you have to understand that non-verbal cues of your partner, and then if they are having the problem with the pain, and then you have to go just ask them how you feel. Okay, I'll give one example here. So when I was doing my masters. my class teacher asked one of the student had your breakfast she cried a lot he asked only had your breakfast simple question and um, uh, he he thought that he may done a crime to something else uh, to her and then he asked what happened to why are you crying and she told that nobody in my life these past two years nobody asked me had your breakfast you are the first person when i hear this is i'm not able to control my feeling so that's why i'm crying so when you have the better relationship have to active listening care about understand the non verbal cues and address immediately quality time and if you found that your partner is looking for something you have to give for example wife you have to purchase a sari husband you have to find out what he is liking to give a gift to them so these were the things they can practice these are in love language when you google it you can get it so they can practice and then touch touch is a need not to be sexual one the physical touch for example if you hold these things in your hand see there is a hormone called oxytocin it will be secreted when you hold naturally oxytocin will be secreted that is good for health man 
it will boost the relationship for a long time. See, that is why the children are more bond with, uh, uh, sitting close with the parents. They are very, very attached to the body. Why? It is because they feel more comfortless. So these, they can practice and then there are many other strategies are there. Um, uh, definitely I have given another session for uh, how we can build better relationships. Yeah, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. And uh, I think uh, two have raised their hands, Joe Durai and uh, uh, Maha something started with uh, M. I don't know the name. <laughs> Okay. They have raised their hands and uh, I think we can have two more questions from the participants. If participants are willing, they can ask. Okay. I now request uh, Joe Durai to kindly unmute yourself and ask a question. Please. Uh, yeah, good evening, madam. Good evening. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, sir already answered my question, madam. Okay, that, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I have seen your uh, hand raising, but you haven't asked, that's why. Right. Yeah, and okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Nandalal Sharma, yeah, and Professor, I request, uh, I'm so happy to introduce our uh, professor. Yesterday I was calling her, now hmm. she is there in online. Uh, professor Kandama Motan from Sultan Irdis uh, University. I request uh, Kandama Montan ma'am to share uh, her views in this uh, uh, session. I'm going to mute and talk. Can, can you see me now? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, happy yes, to see you, ma'am. I can't see you. <laughs> yes, oh, I feel very good. And yes. I just actually a very, very, uh, uh, I mean, I have to thank this um, Dr. Suresh and Dr. Sujata to actually invite me to attend this uh, sessions for the past three days I've been listening and every day has been very informative and today of all days it has been raining so heavily I missed a lot when uh, the earliest session but yet I managed to find out something like happiness curriculum and thank you that I learned something new today and I think your happiness curriculum uh, needs to be I checked again because uh, Dr. Suresh was commenting a lot, a lot of information on uh, uh, the positive and the negative impact of uh, COVID-19. And mind you, I think it is the same everywhere. It is the same everywhere in Malaysia and the world. But today it's really like 79 days here. And uh, very soon, I hope very soon the schools are going to be opened. So the other problem that is going to appear is how are they going to manage in the school? So it's going to be a school, a classroom management and uh, and uh, school management. And I was just reading something and I liked your Maslow's, I think you changed Maslow's model. When I saw that, that looked Maslow's model and I said, well, that is quite interesting. And somebody just now asked about what is going to happen in the classroom. And I think your trust and mistrust, that would come into Eric Erickson models theory, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I think it's very applicable here. Uh, and I was reading, actually for the past three hours, I've been reading many other things. This is something that I just saw and I felt very sad. I saw two, uh, two, two girls committed suicide in India. I was reading this mess, this uh, news in Al Jazeera and also India today, I think. I think this is the news that we got and uh, they did not uh, they, they committed suicide because they did not have access to online learning. And I think this is very sad. It is very, very sad and I'm feeling very sad about it. So what is your comment on that, uh, Dr. Suresh? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, ma'am, for being with us and sharing your views and your questions. Yes. Nice to meet you on this session. <laughs> See, yeah, Suresh, sir. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I think it is a very difficult question for me. Uh, I will try to answer the question from my level of understanding and my experience. Ma'am, the reason for suicide is they are not able to cope up that online classes. Okay. And they were not prepared mentally. So that is why when we introduce new style of teaching, for example, in online teaching, I have done my course called the MED Tech, Master of Education Technology, how we can use technology for teaching. We have to give training to both teachers as well as learners. How you can take in that online component, how you can teach in that online mode. We have to prepare them in the beginning. Then we introduce these methods. There won't be any problem at all. I can say that there are many private institutions. I can say, ma'am, there are many, many. They are forcing the teachers to take classes continuously. As one of the points uh, rightly said by Axel Lakshmi, they are they have to take classes from morning 8 to 3:30. 
how they can sit in the classroom and the different teachers the different places and it's very difficult for them and it's very difficult to cope up i will give one study man there is a screen timing of human being screen timing is on maximum 3 hours if you have the more resilience if you have the better resilience we can spend 3 hours in the monitor if it is more than that i think you will over you will have the problem in your uh, uh, on mental health definitely it will affect and it, it will leads to take such a decisions to make it uh, why we have to be there why we have to live so these yeah. kind of decision definitely they, they are confused when they are confused they will think about negative components only negative decisions mm. they will take so we have to prepare in the beginning then if we introduce these things definitely it will be successful ma'am and i think i given the answer ma'am and uh, i record my thanks to you i am more professional these two days because of you ma'am definitely i will continue these things thank you so much for your input and it is an polite manner ma'am it is an amazing thank you thank you dr kandamohar thank you for being here and thank asking you. a question thank you. uh thank you suresh sir and we will have one last question from dr nandalal sharma and then uh, we will proceed with the feedback and vote of thanks uh, from sujata malni ma'am i think madam given that uh, feedback also yeah i know <laughs> yes sir uh dr nandalal sharma please me unmute yourself and ask the question so no, his audio is not there i think oh, yeah. okay i think we should proceed with the ओके Are you able to hear? Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I think he is not there. Okay, okay. Sir. okay. Now I kindly request Doctor uh, Sujata Malini, ma'am, to kindly proceed with the vote of thanks. Ah, uh, at the outset, I don't have any words to say or express about the two speakers. Uh, they have uh, done a wonderful job, and uh, it has been shown by the participants' response and uh, their questions and discussion. so at the outset uh, it is like a formal uh, vote of thanks and thanks for the speakers and the participants so on behalf of the department of special education and rehabilitation science and department of psychology american college madurai uh, it's my sincere uh, thanks to the two speakers dr bala baskar and uh, dr suresh kumar for uh, accepting our request and being with us for the past 2 hours and uh, sharing your knowledge and thoughts related to uh, psychological issues and uh, psychological problems during this covid-19 and how to cope up with those pandemic situation so you have given a very um, effective and uh, very uh, no, very say, what to say uh, current situation in a very grand and a pictorial manner and in a uh, data was given in a very uh, uh what to say acceptable sources so it is a uh, very acceptable sources so we can rely on that and we can make use of those uh, suggestions that you have given for uh, coming up or coping up with the psychosocial problems during this covid 19 so at this outset i thank dr bala baskar for preparing us with mindfulness and uh, viewing the things and actions in a more uh, broader way so in this aspect i thank you sir and i thank suresh sir for uh, bring out bringing out the present situation in a more lively way and also explaining the ways to cope up with all those pandemic situation i also express my thanks for all the participants who have raised their questions and their doubts and uh, they have uh, interacted with the speakers i also uh, thank all the participants who are with us but still they have lot of questions i hope so you can uh, contact the speakers i we will give all the details of the speakers so that you can clarify your own doubts and you can uh, uh, clarify your uh, psychological issues and mental health problems of your nears and dear ones so that you will be able to cope up and come up with that problems so in that uh, situation in this juncture i also thank uh, dr uh, professor kanna motan anama she was here uh, last time uh, in um, international conference which we have organized in alagappa university
so she had got a chance to come to india for the first time uh, but uh, we were lucky that we have conducted the program very earlier uh, but uh, if we have postponed that might be it will be stopped and i am not very sure whether it will regain within one or two years so uh, we are very happy uh, to receive you ma'am here in this uh, online international webinar so it is not on the name level it is also an international level participants and the speakers are there and national level speakers and participants are also there so the uh, on the whole the webinar was a successful one so in this respect i thank uh, professor kannamma mota and all other professionals from in and around uh, india and state of uh, tamil nadu and other state so with this uh, few words of uh, gratitude and sincere uh, thanks i uh, thank each and every one of us who are in this session and uh, i request ananya to end this session thank you thank you sir thank you ma'am thank you ma thank you doctor for that thank you on the whole for everybody the vote of thanks is done and i think uh, we will meet again tomorrow for the upcoming sessions uh, take care until then yeah, yeah. bye thank you madam thank you kandama ma'am thank you all thank and you. then my ppt will be shared in that group whatsapp group thank you all thanks so much okay thank you